Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan selamat sejahtera semua. Okay, bertemu lagi kita pada pagi ini untuk sesi live classroom at Ididik. Eh? Okay, walaupun kita tahu uh, sekolah akan dibuka tak lama lagi untuk pelajar SPM dan juga STPM tapi kami di uh, live classroom at Ididik akan terus tetap eh, membuat sesi-sesi untuk PDPC secara online. Okay. Uh, sebelum uh, saya memulakan sesi pada hari ini Okay, uh, suka untuk saya ingatkan kepada semua pelajar Ruangan live comment digunakan hanya untuk bertanya atau menjawab persoalan daripada cikgu eh, yang sedang mengajar Okay, jadi gunakan dengan sebaiknya Mana-mana yang tidak kena mengena dengan topik Akan saya block okay, dan juga saya delete komen tersebut eh. Okay, jadi Uh, slot kita pada pagi ini adalah daripada Cikgu Hazwan Mihamdan daripada Medi eh, Kampung Gajah Perak okay, Mahat uh, Apa ke? Eh, ini uh, panjang namanya <laughs> Okey jadi uh, Dengan uh, tajuknya iaitu Write it right summary eh, Untuk pelajar uh, English SPM eh, Terkata lima jadi uh, Pelajar boleh Uh, memberikan uh, konsentrasi semasa sesi sedang dijalankan sebab banyak info yang akan disampaikan ok so saya menjemput Cikgu Hazwan untuk meneruskan sesi beliau ok Cikgu Hazwan boleh terus Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very pleasant morning. Um, there's some uh, internet issue over here connection. Okay, so uh, welcome to the class everyone. Uh, good morning. Uh, today we are going to continue our session which is um, uh, the part four for our summary writing class uh, as requested by some of you in the Google form. Uh, some of you want to to explore on techniques to uh, write summary based on narrative or based on story so uh, today we are going to focus on that area on that part but before that uh, i would like to apologize for the delay we are supposed to go on air around uh, 10 uh, around 11 a.m but due to some uh, technical issues we only managed to go online around 11.30 a.m. So for those who have been waiting patiently on YouTube, on Facebook, uh, I would like to apologize for the delay. So before we move on, just want to know how are you today? I hope everybody in this session are doing good, are doing fine. Uh, I am Cikgu Hazwan. For those who just uh, attend this class for the first time, I am Cikgu Hazwan bin Hamdan from uh, Mahat Ehya Diniyah Islamiyah Kapung Gajah or in short, we call it as Medi Kapung Gajah Perak. Okay, so you can find me at Hazwan HN on my Facebook or you can uh, send messages on my Instagram if you would like to. Okay, for questions and so on. But at the end of this session, I will, I will uh, provide you with uh, some Google Forms for so that you can uh, respond, you can uh, how to say you can uh, ask questions and so on okay uh, i can see that some of you are asking whether this is for primary school or for secondary school this is actually for uh, spm students okay so maybe if you uh if you happen to be from primary school i would like to apologize maybe you get the wrong message uh, this session is meant for uh, secondary school students okay for form five students or form four students Okay, so uh, let's just uh, recap what we have done so far. Uh, this is our stand or our our 
this is what we have been uh, using for from the first week of our lesson, which is summarize means make it shorter, includes the facts just like a reporter. So uh, not like Harry Potter, like a, a reporter. Okay, so summarize means make it shorter. It means uh, the paragraph or the essay. So we are shortening the essay, includes only the facts like a reporter. Okay. So um, as we are beginning this session, I just want all of you to say hi to everyone. Just say hi to me, hi to all of the team over here, to the EDD team, to the teachers out there, to your friends whom you might uh, first encounter today uh, online. So just say good morning, everyone. Uh, just state your name. Where are you from in the comments uh, in your uh, Facebook uh, chat or in your YouTube comments. I will try to respond uh, while 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 doing it. Okay. Good morning. I can see um, Venga Desen Raman. Okay. I'm fine. Thank you. How how are you? By the way. Okay. Uh, I have uh, Anim Ali on Facebook. Hi also. Okay. So uh, while doing this, I'll be. You can see me looking at on my right and my left because on my right is my. Uh, I, I'm looking at my YouTube on my left. I'm looking at my Facebook. So at the same time, I'll be responding to your to your questions or to your messages. Hi, teacher. I'm Yvonne from Sarawak. Hi, Yvonne. I, I think we have been meeting quite a lot since the first class. Okay, wonderful. Ohio, Ohio. Okay. I I only understand Ohio gozaimas. That's all. Okay. <laughs> So thank you, uh, Fazliana from Kelantan. Hi, Mr. Zamri. Assalamualaikum. Morning. Paris Daniel from Gua Musang, Kelantan. Okay. Danisha from Selangor. Okay. We have Koirun Kamarina from Jengke, Pahang. Wonderful. We have lots, lots of people over here. Okay. I'm Amisha from Perlis. Hi, Amisha. Can hear me. Okay. So, uh, if you cannot hear me, let me know on your comments because supposedly my, my microphone and my uh, my camera are working. Okay. Okay. So, hi, uh, Ivy Wong from Para. Hi, Wana from Para. Okay, wonderful. We have Suhaila from Pahang, Aisha from Kuching, Sarawak. Okay. Okay, good. Cool. All good now, Victor. Thank you, Victor. Okay, uh, Wafida from Miri. Hi. Okay. From Johor, we have Adam Irfan from Sri Kembangan. And wonderful, wonderful people over here. Okay. Let's move on. So today's requirements, we just want all of you to have your blank paper. Uh, maybe you need your blank paper or your notebook to write down things, your pen and pencil, your sweets and drinks, because you are doing this class from your bed, from your uh, sofa, okay? Or maybe from, uh, from your home, okay? And then let's have fun together. We have one hour session. So let's have fun. Don't be too stressful enough for this session. Okay. So as to begin our session today, let's wear your thinking helmet as usual. Make sure your helmet is there together with your brain. So make sure your, your brain is working well this morning. Just uh, write down your responses in comments or chat below. Okay. So hi, hi everyone. Hi, Naima from Pera. We have Stanley Tam from Pera as well on Facebook. Okay, we have Magat Ikmal. Uh, I'm from Selangor. Okay, so let's wear your thinking helmet. This, there are five words that are spelled incorrectly. Okay, there are five words in this list that are spelled incorrectly. Write the correct answers in your chat box or comments. Okay. So wonderful, wonderful people. Welcome to this class. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at this. Okay, there are five words that are spelled incorrectly. Write the correct answers in chat box or comments. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten words. 
I give you one or two minutes to, to respond to this. Okay, wonderful people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's take a look. The five words that are spelled incorrectly are these five words. Okay, and the remaining five are all correctly spelled. Okay, you have coat, jumper, skirt, glasses, and dress. So you know these are all clothing or clothes. Okay, not cloth, clothes. Okay, or maybe something that you wear on your body. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, good, good, good. So you can see some answers. Let's take a look at the answers. You have earrings because this combination of ear and rings. Okay, so you cannot have only one R. You must have two R earrings. And then shoes. Even though you pronounce the word shoes without an E, okay, as if you have double O, shoes, very long O, long vowel over there. But actually you have a O and E, shoes. And you have coat, you have jeans, J E A N S, not J double -E, e N S. Okay, not that long vowel, double E. Okay, but J E A N S. Okay, jeans, jumper, skirt, glasses, and then even though you pronounce it as jacket, okay, but it's not I, it's supposed to be spelled with an E, J A C K E T. Okay, and then you have dress, correctly spelled. And finally, we have trousers, okay? Trousers, T-R-O-U-S-E-R-S, -E trousers. So only one R over here. Okay, good, congratulations. I can see some good answers, okay? Good, good answers over there. Okay, okay, cool. We have a lot of people giving good answers, great answers. Okay. So let's move on. Uh, this is actually our the, the, the part four for our summary writing class. Okay, for those who have been following this class since uh, 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 a month uh, ago, so this is actually our part four, whereby we focuses on uh, we focus on summary writing, and then every week we'll be asking students and participants what. Uh, what's next? What do you want in the next class? So, and most of the responses that I get um, wants us to conduct this uh, summary writing classes and focuses on uh, other type of questions. Okay, as I mentioned every week in summary writing, you have to do a lot of practices. So this week we are focusing, okay, the first week we do based on very simple questions and then we, 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 we add up some difficult questions. Last time we did uh, um, like a Kertas model concept paper, a model paper, model SPM paper. And then this week we are focusing on SPM 2015 summary. Okay. Why I took, why I'm taking this SPM 2015 summary? Okay. Because it has, um, it is written in a narrative way. Okay, it is a story. So usually if it is in facts, okay, it is easily for all of us to find the, the content points. But when it comes to summary writing uh, of a narrative, of a story, you might find it difficult. Okay, so that's the reason why we take uh, SPM 2015. Okay. So at the end of this session, uh, participants, all of you, I hope, will be able to identify main points in a passage. So we'll take the real SPM 2015 paper and then to identify the main point in that particular question, leave out unimportant details. We're going to do this together. I'm not going to leave you alone. Write a summary of a given text. So the given text for today is SPM 2015 uh, question, okay? So for the, pop, uh, for the purpose of this lesson, okay, just for the purpose of this lesson, we will not find all of the summary points, okay? I'll guide you to find uh, half of the 
total number of points and then maybe you can uh, find the question you can search for this spm 2015 question and try to do it on your own okay because uh, i don't want to burden you with my kind of uh, uh practices so what i do here is today teach you guide you we'll do it together and then use the books that you already have maybe your teachers have produced modules and so on so you can use these skills to answer the questions provided or prepared by your teachers okay so let's recap what we learned in the previous lesson uh Obviously, we are doing some writing, help readers identify important points, ignore irrelevant information, integrate uh, central ideas in a meaningful way, and teach readers how to take a large selection of text and reduce it to the main points for more concise understanding. This is a very important part where we are doing uh, where we are giving you a large selection of text, a large, a large amount of text, okay, a lot of the text is written in a, it's a lengthy text and then you have to reduce it to main points for more concise understanding okay mm -hmm. mm. let's move on so let's do this how many of you are familiar with spm 2015 summary question or in short we can we can say that how many of you are familiar with um how many of you have been exposed or you have discussed or you have read this question earlier before this? Okay, maybe you can see in your comments below. If you can respond to this, okay, good, wonderful. Okay. How many of you are familiar with SPM 2015 summary question? Okay, just want to see your responses. If you can respond to this question, if you uh, do this do the question before, or you haven't done this. Oh yeah, Adam, you are in year four. Okay, wonderful. It's okay. If you are in year four, that means uh, I hope you are, you, you are enjoying this session. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe you haven't got the chance to do this because the school has been closed since, uh, large mar uh, since March. So you don't have the time to do this kind of practice. It's okay because I'm going to show you the, the question and the text at the same time. Okay. No, 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 good. Uh, if you show a question, I, mean, I can recognize it. Good. I haven't done it before. Good. So let's do this together, everyone. But before that, I just want to let you know that in SPM 2015, okay, this, the, the question or the summary is based on a narrative. Okay. So when it comes to narrative, that means a story. Okay. A story. Yeah, yeah, good. Uh, for those who are in primary school and you are in this session, I'm very glad to guide you. No problem. This is a very early exposure for everyone. Okay. So a story about a vet. A vet means a veterinary doctor. Okay. Uh, in Bahasa, we say Dr. Haiwan. That's a vet. Okay. So the vet is the writer in the story who is trying to save recently born twin cups of a polar bear. Okay. Dia nak menyelamatkan anak beruang. Okay. So he actually, uh, the, the, the writer is working in a zoo as a veterinary doctor. So the summary that we are going to write is uh, steps taken by the team, meaning by the writer and his colleagues to make the twin cups breathe again. Okay, again, I say, I, I repeat, uh, the summary or the content points that we should find find our steps taken by the team to make the twin cups breathe. So when we mention about steps, that means it is procedural, okay? So a sequence of activities to achieve a desired goal. So we are going to focus on steps, okay? What are the things 
that has been done by these people to make the twin cups breathe. Okay. So uh, if you can imagine that the twin cups are dying, can okay, not uh, because of something. Okay. Uh, the, in the in the whole story, uh, the, the the polar bear gave birth and the twin cups has a problem in breathing. So the twin cups are dying. So what we are going to write is steps taken to make the twin cup breathe. Okay. Breathe meaning bernafas. Breathe, not breathe. Okay. You don't, we are not focusing on the breathing part. Yeah, Azik Aiman. Thank you. Okay. So wonderful. We have Amrit Kohaira from Kuching. Hi, hi. Okay, Connie say, I haven't done it before, but I have read about it. Good, good. Okay, so let's take a look. So this is actually a part of it where we have to start at line 25. So this is actually line 25. The earlier part is not related with the summary. So just take a look at this, uh, this paragraph, okay? And try to identify the, the verb first. Okay, why verb? because we are talking about steps okay we're talking about steps that means what is important is we look at sentence with a verb okay when you say step that mean action taken so action in english or uh, grammatically we have to locate the the verbs the kata kerja of it okay so let's take a look at this clearly we did not have much time quick I said, get a bucket of hot water. Aware that the situation was critical, I lowered both cups in halfway. Nothing happened. Undaunted, I decided to immerse them completely this time except for their little snouts. I tried to massage their chests while they were underwater, but realized I could not do both at the same time. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so uh, we have this uh, paragraph. So let's try to identify the verb. Okay, why verb? Because we are looking at steps taken. Can you identify some of the verbs in this uh, paragraph? Okay, so if you look at this uh, paragraph, actually we have a, a few verbs. For example, we have get, we have we have lowered, get, ambil, lowered, nanti kita turunkan, decided to immerse, untuk masukkan, okay, decided, decide is the verb, tried to massage their chest okay while they were underwater tried to massage is another verb phrase you have verb over there try to do something okay yeah chest chest is the the, the, haiwan tu lah, the the chest of the cups okay we are referring to the cups okay i here is the writer who is also the the vet the veterinary doctor just now okay so these are some of the verbs. So since we are talking about verbs, let's try to uh, identify where are the content points. Okay, where are the content points? So first, can you identify the content point? Remember, we are talking about steps taken. So when you look at the verb, make sure it is the step taken to make the twin cups brief. Okay. I give you one or two minutes, try to identify the content point if you can.
Okay, so some of uh, uh, Sabrina is asking about undaunted. Undaunted meaning you are feeling uh, a bit um, not satisfied. Okay, you are not satisfied, so you, you feel undaunted. Okay, good, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, get a bucket of hot, hot water. Good. Remember when we are referring to the verbs, okay? Make sure the verbs we are talking about is focusing on steps taken by the team to make the twin cups breathe, okay? Okay, good. Okay, so, so these are some of the points in this paragraph, okay? So the first one, it get a bucket of hot water. So that's the first step taken. And then lower both cups in halfway. Halfway meaning halfway into, into the bucket of hot water, okay? And then nothing happened decided to immerse them completely this time immerse ni maknanya uh, meaning we um, instead of halfway we lowered the cup completely okay we lowered the cups completely in the water okay except for the little snaps okay but the the content point is decided to immerse them completely this time and then the next point is try to massage their chest while they were underwater. Okay. If you can see that there are one, two, three, four, four points over here. Okay. Approximately four points. Okay. So good. Thank you. Thank you. So good, good. You can see a lot of answers over here. Good, good on the Facebook and on the uh, YouTube. Okay, good. So these are some of the points. Get a bucket of hot water, lowered both cups in halfway, nothing happened, decided to immerse them completely, tried to massage, massage their chest while they were underwater. Okay, wonderful. Good answers. Okay, good, good. We can see good answers, good answers. Wonderful students. Okay. So moving on, let's take a look at this uh, uh, this paragraph, the continuation of the previous paragraph just now. Okay. I give you maybe two or three minutes to uh, take a look at the content points. Maybe first you have to identify the verbs and then try to identify the content point. The content point, remember, I've I've written up there, steps taken by the team to make the twin cups breathe. Okay. So if you can see this paragraph, Ray, you do one while I'll, I do the other. I say it as I pass a dripping wet cup over to him. Remember to pump rhythmically, but don't dig your fingers in too hard. They were such tiny, fragile creatures that we had to take great care with them. Minutes went by. Suddenly, Ray yelled, Mine's moving. Okay. So this is the continuation of the previous situation or the previous paragraph that we have read. So now we can see there are some steps taken by the team to make the twin cups breathe in order to identify which step, identify verbs, uh, identify the verbs in this paragraph.
Quem? Palm D. World Tick Care. Okay, good, good, good. There are a lot of uh, answers over here. Okay, so let's take a look. What are the verbs in this paragraph that are related with steps taken by the team? Okay, so you have passed. You have uh, remember to pump. Okay, or pump rhythmically. Okay, so these are some of the verbs related to steps taken by the team to make the twin cups breathe. Okay, even though you have yelled at the end, but that yell has no relation with steps taken by the team to make the twin cups breathe. Okay, wonderful. Okay, some of you say past. I, I'm not sure what do you mean by past. Oh, yeah, past. Good, good, good. So the past is the verb there. Good. Okay, so good, good. Hi, Durga Dewi from SMK Sri Putri. Wonderful. Um, next. So based on these two uh, verbs that are related with steps taken by the team. So this is actually the, the point. Okay. But I highlighted the word but over here. But don't dig your fingers. Uh too hard okay this cannot be considered as a uh, content point because this is just explain how you pump rhythmically okay this might be useful if you have less number of words then you want to put this uh, explanation but before you put the explanation make sure you have enough number uh, if you don't have enough number of words then you can include this explanation or else just take the content point okay okay next this part they were such tiny fragile creatures that we had to take great care with them so just now we have after the word but is just explanation of palm rhythmically what about this this sentence they were such tiny, they refer to, to the cups, such tiny fragile creatures that we had to take great care with them. So what do you think? This, uh, this uh, sentence refer to, okay. Is this considered as content point or not? Okay. Okay, so wonderful. So if you can see that this sentence is actually explaining about the, the cups, the, the condition of the cups. Okay, the tiny, fragile creatures. Okay, so we shouldn't put this into our summary. Next, so these two things are, these two are our points in this paragraph. Past a dripping wet cup over to him remember to pump rhythmically okay so there are just now we have four points now we have another two points so totally we have six points okay wonderful people okay so uh, let's move on before we, we before we continue our uh, searching for our search for content points Let's wear your taking helmet again uh, and then try to answer this question on your uh, Facebook comments or YouTube chat. What is full of holes but can still hold a lot of water? Okay. What is full of holes but can still hold a lot of water? Okay. Uh, hello, Pavitran Kalidas from, uh, sorry. 
Devashri from SMK Holy Methodist. Wonderful. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Okay. So this is your uh, thinking helmet question. Was well, full of holes but can still hold a lot of water. Okay. Answer your answer your answer the question in your Facebook or comments below. Okay. Okay, getting good answers over here. Hole. Okay, so the answer is, okay, the person who lives un, uh, in the pineapple under the sea, the sponge, okay. Okay, so sponge is the, the, the thing that full of holes but can still hold a lot of water. Okay, so wonderful, thank you. Thank you to Ivy, uh, Yvonne, Connie, Koyun, Kul. Okay. So a lot of holes, but can still hold a lot of water. The answer is sponge. Wonderful, Sasha from YouTube, uh, Facebook and Eloise Tan Ying Xuan from Facebook as well. Okay. If you uh, Google after this class uh, later, just search for sponge in the sea. You can see that actually there. There is a thing in the sea that's called a sponge. It looks like sponge that you use in your uh, when you wash the dishes. Okay. Okay. So moving on. Are we ready? I am ready. I hope all of you are ready as well. So these are uh, the six points so far. Number one, get a bucket of hot water. Lowered both cups in halfway. Nothing happened. Decided to immerse them completely. Tried to massage their chest while they were underwater. Pass a dripping wet cup over to him. Remember to pump rhythmically. Okay, wonderful. Uh huh. So let's move on. We are continue. We are going to continue searching for content point based on a story. Remember, this is not a fact. This is actually a story. Okay. So now this is the next, uh, the, the continuation of the previous paragraph, okay? We looked inside its mouth. It was de definitely pinker. Uh, sensing that there might be hope after all, I instructed Matt to add more hot water while we continued pumping. There was a faint muscular tension growing in the furry creature in my hands, and then I felt my cup moving slightly. Stethoscope, I shouted. Okay, so um, as usual, try to identify the verbs because we are looking at steps taken. Steps taken, the, the content point will be there, will be uh, uh, around the verbs in the, in the paragraph, okay. Okay, now take a look at this uh, paragraph, try to identify the verbs. And once you have identified the verbs, maybe we can easily find the, uh, we can easily locate the content points. Okay. Okay, if you can take if you can uh, take a look at this uh, slide, you can see that the the verbs are looked, instructed, and felt. So which one, okay, uh, which verbs 
are related with steps taken by the team to make the twin cups brief. This is the thing that we have to always do when we are doing summary. Always ask yourself whether the content point that we highlighted answered the question. Okay. For example, if you say, look, look inside its mouth. Is that steps taken by the team to make the twin cups brief? Only looking inside the mouth? Maybe yes, maybe no. I instructed Matt to add more hot water while we continued pumping. So that is related with the steps taken by the team. And then I felt my cup moving slightly. That is also another step taken by the team to make the twin cups brief. Okay. So moving on. On. So as I said earlier, which verb or action answered the question? This is a thing that we always need to remember when we answer summary question. Or when, if, if we are not doing a summary question, if we want to summarize a novel, for example, okay, we must have the five questions in our hand. What are we going to summarize? Who is involved in our summary? what happened to him or her why is it happened and when it happens okay so in this uh, exam examination type of question we usually have a guide which is the question okay if we are writing a summary of on a novel on our own readings and so on we must remember the wh questions but when we are doing this in examination make sure our reading our, when we search for the content point, we always reflect to the steps taken to the, to the question needs, to the question requirement. For the purpose of this question, steps taken by the team to make the twin cups breathe. Okay. What about shouted over there? It's just shouted. Okay. Next. You good? If you can see that this sentence, there was a faint muscular tension growing in the furry, furry creature in my hands and then. So this sentence actually explaining the situation or explaining the condition of the cups. Okay. So in short, we can say that these two are actually the content point instructed matt to add more hot water while we continue pumping and i felt my cup moving slightly okay okay good good i can see um uh, good responses okay hi susila from medi wonderful welcome to the class okay so now we have this uh now we have a total of uh, two, four, six, eight content points. Remember, in the real examination for the SPM students uh, 2021 or 2022, okay? Or maybe you are form 5, 2020 and 2021, which is a very wonderful uh, situation, situation that ever happened to, to SPM candidates where you have two different years to complete your SPM. Okay, don't feel bad about it. You should feel positive. If people ask you in the future, uh, uh, when did you take your SPM? You just say, you just tell them, I, I was in Form 5 in 2020, but I took my SPM in 2021. Wonderful. Okay, so uh, don't, don't feel bad about it. Okay, you should uh take this positively you you will have a lot of time to 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 attend classes and learn okay and actually you can just view this again in the record in the uh, edd uh, facebook and youtube the recording is available okay for example if you you found if you find the uh, spm is 15 people and you want to do it again on your own you can just use this video as your reference okay so now we have eight points. 
Okay, in the real exam, you might have 15 to 16 points. You can find up to 14 points usually. Okay, but don't be afraid. If you can get 15 points, just write all the 15 points. Don't stop at 10. Okay, find and use. Okay, let the examiner mark your paper. Okay, candidate shouldn't do what the examiner should do, which is deciding which is content point. Okay, let the examiner decide. Okay. So if you can find more than eight, more than 10, fine. Just write everything, okay? So the pop quiz, how many sentences do we need to write in your summary? Mm -hmm. A, 120 words, 130 words, or C, 150 words? Yeah, Adam Nidham, SPM 2025. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so how many words, uh, how many, sorry, not sentences, how many words do we need to write? Uh, not the sentences, yeah? How many words do we need to write in, uh, when you are writing summary? 120 words, 130 words, or 150 words? Uh-huh. 30, 130, 130, wonderful. So some people say that we have to write 130 words. Mm-hmm. Good, good. 130, Shasha for Facebook, Husna from Facebook say 130. Eloy say 130. Good, wonderful. What about friends on YouTube? They are also responding almost the same. Okay, good, good. But uh, let's take a look. So on YouTube also, people are saying that we have to answer 130 words. But Lachimi Maruputu Pule, she said that it's supposed to be 120 words. Mm -hmm. And Rose D. Abdullah, if you are a teacher, this is a good answer. 130 words including 10 words given so actually we are supposed to write 120 and then we add another 10 words given in the question okay so always bear in mind that you can only write 120 because 10 words have already been given in the question so one uh, 10 plus 120 equals to 130 okay if there are some people who tell you that you can write more than 130 words, uh, he or she is technically uh, not correct because every year the marking of SPM, um, they change the way they mark. Okay, So don't be too comfortable by uh, listening to people who say that, yeah, just plus minus five words. I don't encourage you to do that. Just take to 120 plus 10 words given. So total, you have 130 words. Okay, let's take a look back at the steps taken just now. We have eight uh, steps taken. Okay, good, good, good. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, Yvonne. Good. Okay. Now we have this uh, uh, summary. Okay, we have uh, approximately uh, 10 minutes uh, more or less. Okay. So let's try to write this summary. Okay, step taken to make the twin cups breathe. Begin your summary as follows. To get the cups breathing again, this is the 10 words I mentioned earlier. To get the cups breathing again, the writer decided to, so you have get a bucket of hot water, lowered both cups in halfway, nothing happened, decided to immerse them completely. Okay. Mm. Good, good. Those who understand, good, wonderful. All of you are good students. You should understand this. If you do not understand, you can just uh, replay this uh, tomorrow or after we have completed. You can watch this uh, again and again multiple times, okay, to, to, to get better understanding. If you still do not understand, you can just email me. 
follow me on Facebook or YouTube or sorry uh, or Instagram and then you can just ask me questions okay from time to time okay so let's try to do this together to get the cups breathing again the writer decided to do what get a bucket of hot water lowered both cups in halfway nothing happened decided to immerse them completely Okay, so I'm going to show you how to combine these content points. To get the cups breathing again, the writer decided to get a bucket of hot water and lowered both cups in halfway. When nothing happened, he decided to immerse them completely. Okay, so this is just now the content point, and then we merge the content point into a paragraph and then this is how we write our summary my question is why we are using he to refer to the writer why are we using he to refer to the writer can we use she to refer to the writer okay actually we can use he or she because throughout this essay there's no indication of the writer's gender so if you write the right the important point the important part is you are able to identify the content points okay can you use can you repeat can we repeat the word the writer the writer when nothing happened, the writer decided to immerse them completely. Okay. Do you think that we can use the, the word the writer instead of pronoun he or she? Okay. If we use the pronoun he or she, we are only using one word. But if we are using the writer, we keep on repeating the word the writer, the writer. We are actually using two words at the same time. Okay. So it's better for us to use the pronoun. When nothing happened, he decided. Only one word instead of the writer, which is two words. Remember, uh, summary writing, we are, we are making sure that our number of words are 120 plus 10. Okay. Next, try to massage their chest while they were underwater. Pass a dripping wet cup over to him Remember to pump rhythmically. Hmm. Let's do this together. So how to merge this into paragraph? Just continue from the previous one. Okay. Remember, uh, it's not encouraged to use the writer because we are using two words. Okay. You can use pronoun, but make sure do not mix your pronoun. For example, previously you write he and then in the next in the next sentence, you use she to refer to the vet, veterinary doctor, which is wrong, okay? So make sure you use the same pronoun throughout the, the summary, okay? Okay, so this one. He tried to massage their chest while they were underwater. When he passed a dripping wet uh, cup over to him, he reminded to pump rhythmically. So the question now, after we have merged the content points, who is him in this sentence? Okay. For those uh, who are experiencing uh, uh, lagging and so on, uh, I hope that the internet connection is good so far. Okay, because I can see on the YouTube, uh, on the Facebook is good also on YouTube. Okay. Okay, why we use, uh, who is him? Okay, so we have plenty of answers over here.
Mm -hmm. So uh, some of you are answering the writer, the writer. Okay. So him in this paragraph is actually refers to the clicks, which is Ray. Ray, you do one while I do the other. I said as I pass dripping wet cup over to him. So actually refer to his colleague, not referring to the writer. Okay, because you don't have the, the, the script in front of you, you might get confused, but actually when you you read back the, the paragraph just now, you can see that actually the word him refer to his colleague, Ray. Okay. So you can say he tried to massage their chest while they were underwater. When he passed a dripping wet cup over to Ray, he reminds him to pump rhythmically. Okay. Because uh, in the original tag, it says, remember to pump rhythmically. So actually, he reminds Ray to pump rhythmically. Okay. Good, good. Wonderful. Okay. Good. So this is the next one. Okay, finally, instructed Matt to add more hot water while we continued pumping, and then I felt my cup moving slightly. Okay. This is very easy. Okay, we just put a sequence connector and then we are good to go, okay? Next, he instructed he, because just now uh, I, so I, we change to he, we are talking about the writer, okay? He instructed Matt to add more hot water while they continued pumping. Suddenly, he felt his cup moving slightly, okay? Or you can use other connectors, for example, uh, next, uh, finally, okay? Instead of suddenly, you can say finally, or after that, but try to use sequence connector that consists only one word, okay? Because we have 130 words uh, limit, okay? So now we have this uh, summary based on eight content points. Let's take a look at how the summary is written, okay? To get the cups breathing again, the writer decided to, so this is the 10 words given, Get a bucket of hot water and lowered both cups in halfway. When nothing happened, he decided to immerse them completely. He tried to massage their chairs while they were underwater. When he passed a dripping wet cup over to Ray, he reminds him to pump rhythmically. Uh, next, he instructed Matt to add more hot water while they continued pumping. Suddenly, he felt his cup moving slightly. Okay. So this is actually our summary based on the eight content points that we have discovered. Okay. Next pop quiz. So from this steps taken, we have uh, in uh, in uh, note form. Now we have this, which is the summary itself. Okay. Remember, do not write in. Uh, uh do not write this without using uh, with it without uh, writing it in paragraph form okay or else we you might lose uh, marks okay Okay, so sorry for the interruption just now. So let's take a look. Should we use sequence connectors? Yes or no? Okay, should we use sequence connectors? Okay, actually, yes, but make sure after we have added the sequence connectors, our summary doesn't exceed the word limit. And actually, if you can read it and you can understand, you can see the sequence, okay, you don't really need that sequence connectors unless it is very, very necessary. Okay. 
If you can see here, can you identify the second connectors? There's only one over here, which is next. If the rest of this summary has no sequence connectors, but actually if you read from one sentence to another, you can see the sequence of events. That is very important. When you have a summary of a narrative and it is in process and procedure, you must make sure the sentences are written in sequence of event. You cannot go by, get a bucket of hot water and try to massage their chest, for example. That is wrong. It must be in sequence. Okay. I hope that uh, all of you enjoy the session. Okay. If you want to watch the session again, you can just go to EDD Malaysia YouTube or go to EDD Malaysia uh, Facebook page. You can just watch this again and again, uh, and then um, you can try to do practice while using the same skill. So the same techniques, read the text carefully, underline the content points, ignore unnecessary details, and then you try to write the summary, count number of words. If you practice doing this from time to time, you will someday become a very good a uh, writer who can summarize uh, books, novels, and so on. Okay. So I hope that we are able to, we, we are already achieved this objective, identify main points, leave out unimportant details, write a summary of a given text. Uh, and if you have any suggestions, you can just go to this uh, 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 Google Forms. I will paste the, the link after this, okay? and um thank you everyone thank you so thank you so much for attending the session this one hour session my apologies again for for uh, conducting this uh, half an hour late from our schedule okay so thank you if you have any questions if you have any suggestions for our next session okay feel free to drop me a message or you can just email me okay at hazanishan at gmail.com or hazanishan at edd.edu.my so see you when I see you. Thank you, everyone. Salam alaikum and have a great uh, have a great day ahead. Thank you. Okay, terima kasih. Okay, terima kasih diucapkan kepada Cikgu Hazwan di atas perkongsian tadi. Okay, diharap uh, sedikit sebanyak dapat membantu semua pelajar. Okay, uh, berkenaan dengan uh, English uh, SPM tentang tajuk summary writing eh Banyak benda tadi saya pun belajar sama Baru saya tahu kena 120 fata perkataan campur 10 soal daripada soalan eh Okay, so saya yeah. mewakili Dayu EDD Perak mengucapkan terima kasih kepada Cikgu Hazwan di atas perkongsian tadi Dan juga ucapan tahniah kepada semua pelajar yang sudi Uh, apa menyertai sesi pada tengah hari ni eh okey tahniah semua okey macam yang saya bagi tahu walaupun uh, sekolah dah dibuka tapi kita masih eh meneruskan ah, sesi live classroom untuk semua pelajar eh okey so terima kasih semua okey terima kasih kepada cikgu Hazwan okey bye